Okay, here we are. I'm just staring off into the distance, thousand yard stare. Um, but anyway, uh, looks like we got a couple of people in the chat already. And uh, it is a snowy, chilly day here in central Ohio. Um, we had a couple of a couple of inches of snow today, but it's slushy. It's not that big a deal. Um, interstates and all like that were clear. Let's see. We've got Josh uh, Cable in the chat, Chris Flannery, Cindy Rosen. So welcome, everybody. And I'm sure that a couple more people will be showing up here shortly. Um, looks like there are a couple more people here anyway. They just haven't talked in the chat yet. So I went to Dayton. Actually, not Dayton. It's Kettering. It's close to Dayton. May, maybe a suburb. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't check with the Chamber of Commerce there to see. But anyway, um, I went there because um, I needed a source because I, I had depleted my stash of goods. So I don't really have much of a... Um, much of a death pile anymore um it feels fine anyway um so i wanted to go to this store because instead of going to multiple stores um it's a big thrift store so i spent about three and a half hours in this store today and i do go slow and i do look at almost everything so it does take me a little bit but um I ended up spending about $97. So the first time I was going through and I about filled my cart up and they're the smaller carts, you know, like the ones that Dollar Tree or um, uh, Family Dollar or those kind of stores have. I, it was filled up and I stopped one of the workers and I said, is there a sale today? Because I, I knew that they were having this 25% off sale. And she goes, yes, actually everything's 50% off. And I was like, game changer. So I went and checked out and I spent about $51 that time. And then I went back through again and I spent another uh, $45 and change. So right around $97 worth of stuff. There's a little bit of stuff um, that I um, did buy for myself. I'm going to show you that really quickly and move through it. Um, some of it, I won't show all of it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get through this. There's a lot and there's some stuff that I'm kind of surprised by, honestly. Um, and then a lot of bread and butter. So let me just jump right in and say, my daughter, Holly, is babysitting. And it's a situation where the dad got unexpected custody of his daughter that like lives far away. So he basically got her and nothing else. Um, so she's been wearing the same clothes. So I, I picked her up a couple of cute little um, outfits. I did not spend very much on these, but I got her some cute, cute clothes, especially since they were half off. So I won't go through showing you all of that. Um, I bought this cool little thing. This is probably vintage. I don't know. It doesn't have whatever would be here, forks or whatever, but I thought it would be cute to serve nuts in, and I paid a dollar for that. I'll probably keep that for myself. And then I bought this little bag of goodies for the babies. And uh, Phoenix is going to love this because, for one, it's Mickey Mouse. And then to up, up it, look at that. It's a Mickey Mouse cell phone. So he's going to love that. So I bought that for the kids. Uh, let me catch up with the chat real quick. Uh, Jim Dittmeyer is with us. Hello, Jim. Uh, Nancy is here. Hi, Nancy. Beverly Lambert is here. Hello, Beverly. Um, I had a hangout for a little while, I think yesterday, but unfortunately, um, you missed that, but I will start doing them again a little more often so you guys can jump on. Um, uh, Chris is saying that there's another, a third location of that store. I think it's in like, I want to say Fairborn, no, Evendale or something like that. It's it's closer to you, I think, is where that one is. Um, Faye is here. Faye, one of my favorite people. Um, is it Kiari Johnson? Um, falling into space is here. Hello. And um, let's see, let's see, Fairfield, that's where it is. Um, I always get Fairborn and Fairfield uh, confused. They're not that far away. All right, so. 
we may have to check out another location. Um, I'm all, I'm game. I'm, I'm all for it. So well, let's just jump right into this and there's stuff everywhere. So I bought this and I paid up for it, even though this was on sale, but I just love the look of this particular, um, this particular percolator. Uh, this is made by Farberware and um, definitely like a fifties. Look at that great almost atomic style handle um it's pretty dirty it'll need to be cleaned up but uh, i paid five dollars and fifty cents for this the lid alone pays sells for 6.99 shipped um so i can park this out if it doesn't sell together but um i'm hoping that it works and i can sell it together because it's just a great great old percolator and i love percolated coffee like this i don't know about you guys but i love it uh Tanya, the De Can Canadian eBayer is in the house. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I, I, I like to park these out too, Josh, but if they have good value, and I think this one will sell for about $30. They've got good value and they're complete and they work. I would just as soon sell these whole. But that's just me being me. So this is a lot of mega blocks. This lot actually sells for about $30 on Amazon new. I don't know if this is new. I paid $2 and 50 cents for this and I'm probably going to gift that to a grandchild or a, an adopted grandchild. Cause why wouldn't you? So this show has gone to the dogs. Um, this is another one of those for real friends. Um, the other one that I have, uh, I don't think works correctly. I'm not sure. Um, so I've got that one listed. This one I paid a two fifty four, and this cord sells for about fifteen dollars on its own. So if this doesn't work, I can sell that. I can probably sell this collar too. I think it's a couple of screws to take that off, but I can probably sell that if this doesn't work. If it does work, maybe twenty twenty five bucks for this. This right here is the new addition to our family. Um, we came home on Thursday. And it was just yucky and snowy and cold. And um, she was sitting on our front porch behind a package from um, UPS, but it had a really big package. So um, she was immediately adop adopted by us. I have posted some pictures on social media um, to try and find her parents, I guess, but um, nobody's responded. So, we will just keep her as part of our family and Amon has named her Sandy. So, um, all righty. So here is another, I don't know why I dropped drop this in it, fell apart. This is a West Bend, um, if I can get it to turn. This is a West Bend bread slicer. And clearly, I, I promise I didn't break it maybe but um anyway it flips over there we go it flips over you put your bread in it and um it changes shape so that it can not take up as much space um i paid 50 cents for this and um i don't know maybe 20 no about 15 bucks i think is what these go for um or it's what they used to go for i didn't really look up much stuff today because there was just so much there was just so much stuff um teach sandy the list uh that's a good idea if i could just keep her from jumping off on me that'd be good too all right i did not look this guy up but i have decent luck with west bend vintage um electronics i paid two dollars and fifty cents for this this is the round uh cooker the slow cooker um i've got a couple of the oblong ones too but even if i can't sell this as a unit um the lid will part out the cord will part out and the pan looks pretty good it may part out as well i may end up with four parts here that should net me or should gross me about sixty dollars so um this i may end up selling individually we'll just have to see 
and it's going to get stacked up in the house. I'm telling you. Um, so I haven't looked this up or done any research on it at all. It is a heat by number, and it uh, it looks pretty big. But um, I don't know. I paid a dollar for it. And hopefully somebody will want it. It's it's not been done, but I will tell you a little bolo. So I sh I showed you guys these um, uh, several videos ago. Well, I finally got around to listing this, and they sold within 24 hours. One for twenty dollars, and one for twenty three ninety nine. I picked these up at the bins. I probably only have like a dollar in both of them. So look for those paint by numbers. Um, here's our other wet, another West Bend slow cooker. This has got the glass lid without the handle. Um, it has the cord. I paid two fifty for this. This is probably another. It's at least thirty dollars. Um, parted out, and I didn't look at the condition of this pan. If it's good, it may sell too. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I'm promising to try not to break anything. Um, I found this. This um, I paid five fifty for it, and it is actually kind of like a drone, but not really a drone. Um, uh, it's but it looks like it has not been used, and it's made by Wowie. It is a bladester. So um, I think I can get about 20 bucks out of this and uh, hopefully it's in good working condition. I may have to have Ahmed look at that. So this thing um, was marked 29 cents and keep in mind that I paid half of that. And do you want down? Is that what's happening here? Um, and what it is, is a 1948 Scrabble game. Well, this is not in very good condition, but keeping in mind that I paid 14 cents for this, I bought it for the, the tiles. So I, um, I could probably get maybe $10 ship for these tiles because they're so old, I'm hoping. Um, and then none of the rest of it is in very good ship condition, but it does have the wood tile rocks maybe i will sell those as well but again that's 14 cents i mean that's almost nothing that's almost nothing do you went down oh, come on there we go here's your debut yeah you're done okay put you down jeff there you go. There's your way out. Come on. Okay. Babies. I bought this bag of things because I didn't know what it was. And it was marked 29 cents and I paid half of that. Um, turns out these are parts of um, like blinds, uh, fixtures. I don't know if they're worth anything. I'm going to do a little more research, but I figured for the 14 cents again that I paid for these or 15 cents that I paid for these, I should be able to make money back on that. And I like buying something like this and, you know, making something out of no nothing essentially, because that's probably not something that a buyer would buy if they didn't know what it was, except unless that buyer is me. So just pick some of this stuff so I can get this out of the way. So, um, I did pick up one of these. And this is um, one of those Instapot type items. This one is the um, Power Cooker XL. And... It does not, I, I don't know if it works or not. Um, I didn't try it, but these only sell for about $70 new. I think right now you can buy them on eBay. 
for about $70 shipped. I paid $5.50 for this. And of course I'm going to try it. And I got a couple of things I can do with this. Um, one, I know my mom wants one because she called me and she said, I just watched your video about that pot thing. And uh, what is it? And what's it do? And I want one. So I, uh, I thought I would pick this up and if it works, maybe she could use it. If it's not, it depends on how hard it is. I don't think this one's too, too terrible. But um, does have the the tray in it, the cord, the the little rice wand, the steam rack, and this. However, that being said, if this pot does not work, this piece sells for about fifteen to twenty dollars. This recently sold for $39.99 shipped. I don't know what this would sell for, but I bet I could sell it. And the cord I've already sold before for $15. So um, I'm not worried a bit about my $5.50 investment. I know that I would get my money back, whether or not this pot works. There, I would caution you against buying this pot new. If you're considering buying one, go with the Instapot. I don't even have the Instapot. I have the power cooker. This is the power pressure cooker. And mine is the power cooker. Mine is a Walmart exclusive, I guess. And it's already starting to give me a little bit of trouble. So I recommend buying the Instapot and not this one or the other one. Because this one has a common failure too. So that's just my two cents. And that's about what it's worth. All right. So I bought a Ronco Rotis today. And um, this is the small one. This is the compact, like the 3000, I think is what this one's called. And it does not have any of anything in it. It doesn't have any of the, 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 um, the, the spit, the rotisserie um, spikes. Um, or the basket or any of that, but I paid a dollar fifty, I believe. Yeah, this was marked two ninety nine. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and this door will sell, and these this track will sell for sure. And I don't know about parting up. I know other people part out the motor. I've never done it. But maybe I will. So um, there's enough goodies on this that I'll make way more than my money back. I think this door will sell up to twenty, twenty-five dollars. Um, and the, the door, the tracks at the bottom look like they sell for about twenty dollars too. So I plan to part that out. That's the only thing really it's good for, since there is no accessories with it. Uh, I picked these up for a quarter. I don't exactly know what they go to. I mean, I know they're for curlers, but I don't know which hot curler set that they're with. But um, I'll figure this out and sell them. I mean, for a quarter, I'm willing to risk because sometimes these will sell for, you know, 12, eight, 12 $14 sh uh, shipped. And I, I my, my, um, whole plan has like changed. I, I wasn't trying to change my business plan. Um, I was trying to get my average sale price up to 30, $40 and it's just plummeted because I keep buying these parts and selling them. But there's, if they're easy to list and they're plentiful because you know, I'm not paying much for one item and I'm getting four or five parts off of it. Um, it seems to be working for me and I don't know, I seem to enjoy selling parts. So, um, you know, it was not an intentional thing that I did where, um, you know, I, sh I sh changed up my kind of my method, but it, it seems to be working. And I think that that's, um, I think that's a way uh, to diversify too. Um, so uh, this is just a bunch of hair bobbles that I bought for 
uh, buck fifty, and that, that'll go to one of the grandkids. Um, I bought this for myself for the LA. Uh, touch of sun. Uh, that's in here, and I paid a dollar fifty for all this stuff. But there's lotions. There's two of those Olay things in there. Um, Oil of old lady, like my mom calls it, uh, and lots of other stuff. And they look like they're new. There's nothing in the end of the pumper, so uh, it was worth it for those. That Oil of old lady. So I paid fifty cents for this. Oh, that Ron Cole knob. I have sold those two for eight nine dollars ship. Uh, let's see who else is here. Oh, Wimpy Whistler is here. Hey, um, she <laughs> read the title and thought it said Milk Day Hall, which is funny. Um, this is an indexed Bible. Kind of a worn indexed Bible. And let's see. Yeah. Touch all this dirty stuff and put your finger in your mouth. Hasn't killed me yet. This is a 1987 uh, personalized Bible. This has got a lot of wear. Um, this might need to be sold as a crafter's Bible, you know, but it does have the index. Uh, again, I paid 50 cents for this Bible. So, you know, if I can get eight, 10, $12, um, it is red letter. That's good. Um, for it, then that's fine. But, um, you know, a crafter might want to use this for one of those open book kind of things where they freeze the book in resin. Who knows? I, I uh, had what that kind of day where I felt like I needed to buy every Bible in the store, I guess. Uh, let's see. I bought another one of those Febreze uh, scent stories. Um, I paid a dollar for it. This goes in the trash. Because I can't get them to sell, but this disc I can probably get about fifteen dollars shipped for, even though it's it's partially used. I when I do these, I take a picture, obviously a, a front and back, and then I click through, and I take the picture at, close up on every um, little thing so they can see how much wear it's got. Uh, but I, I recently just sold this one. I think I sold it for about $15 shipped. So um, it's crazy what you can sell. Let's see. Um, I bought this pretty little princess, pretty, pretty princess um, game. This is the actual Disney princess version. And if you're not familiar, it comes with like movers because everyone wants to be Maleficent. Um, and it comes with jewelry as part of the fun. Um, if this is not complete, this will be gifted. Uh, I paid a quarter for this, so no, no worries about it at all. Let's see. So I paid, um, seriously, another 15 cent item. Look at that. 29 cents. Because they have a system where they mark down items regularly. And, um, yeah, so this got marked down to 29 cents. And this is two packs of henna powder. And um, it actually has some hair mask. I, look, I did not look up the hair mask. Um, but it's got hair mask by the same company. And um, this henna is in two different colors. And I believe I can probably get about 15, 15 to $18 shipped on these two. Um, they are new and sealed. The boxes are a little crushed. Um, they're new and sealed. And if you don't know what henna is, it is, um, this one is actually a hair coloring. So you can actually dye your hair with this. Some of the other henna powder that you can get is the stuff that, you'll see decorating um, like a Middle Eastern or an Indian person's hand. Um, they'll draw out those intricate de designs and it kind of looks like brown ink. That's what henna is typically for. But again, I paid 15 cents for this. I did not look this up. I may sell it together since this is basically hair dye or hair color. And this is a hair mask. Um, and maybe I can get 20, 25 bucks shipped for it. And it, it would go first class. It's really light. Okay. Um, 
just a thing of lotions that I paid 15 cents for. Um, and some people, this would not be their thing. They wouldn't want to use them. Um, and I probably won't use all of them. There's like some Matrix um, hair stuff in here and some Curel lotion and some, uh, I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, Almay, some Almay lotion. But uh, as long as it doesn't look gross when I open it, I'm usually okay with using it. Um, I bought this for 50 cents. And it's, um, I love this. It's that old swing style can opener. Um, do you guys know how much these can openers sell for at the store? They're outrageous. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if this will resell or not, but um, I just thought I wanted alternatives. This one is supposed to be a can opener that I'm not smart enough to figure out how to use these, but it's the can opener that you put on top of the can and it moves itself around and opens. Um, I bought this for me just to see because I'm getting old and weak. And then these little... Um, cookie cutter things I don't care about. Let's see. So uh, this is an Oster brand um, can opener. I love the look at, of this. It's kind of cool. I can't find this listed or sold, um, but I thought maybe it would get me 20 bucks. I sold, uh, I bought this for $2 and 50 cents. Cause I just think it's a really cool looking, you have this red can opener, Chris, really this one, this one that I could not find. Um, they, they're a lot of the, um, like stainless color, stainless steel color, the brush nickel, um, had sold or sold new ones for 32, 33. Oh, you have the, this, you have this red can opener. Uh, the one that you put on the can and and that opens. Um, yeah, you can teach me how to use this because I'm not very smart with these and I cannot figure out how to get it to grip the can. The can. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, but I'm hoping to get $20 out of that Oster can opener. So couldn't pass uh, this up. I paid 35 cents for this and it is a vintage is it presto or west bend presto probably like um, um a roaster or an electric skillet or something like that and i'll look it up and find it but these usually will will typically go for 12.99 shipped 14.99 shipped something like that so uh 35 cent investment that i think that's pretty good i don't know if walmart's making deals like that folks seriously Oh, they probably are. So, this is called an Emson stovetop convection oven. And this is actually new. It has not been put together. There's the lid with no knob on it. The pieces are, are in here. I paid $1 for this. And it looks like these sell regularly for about 30 um, new. So I don't have a box for this one, but I still can probably try to get about $30 for this on a $1 investment. So, um, I bought this lot of old books. I paid 50 cents. You never know. Crafters like stuff like this. Um, this is just a cool book. It's called I Dare You. And it's written by William H. Danforth, who is the founder and former chairman of the board, Ralston Purina Company, Checkerboard Square, St. Louis, Missouri. And this is like a, like a, a, a can-do inspirational kind of book. This was published in 1958. Uh, this was uh, the 17th edition, copyright 1958. Um, but it looks pretty cool. I did not look this up, but I will. 
and see what this might be worth. Um, this is a like a daily devotional prayer kind of book. Stuff like this that I can't sell will go to mom's. Um, your Bible and you. This is an old. This is an old. Uh, like religious kind of thing. 1959. Looks like a Hardy Boys. But it is not. And then this is called Poetry Time. And it is inspirational poems for families with young children. So there's just a little list of children's poems in here. Um, Faye, which book do you have? Do you have that Dan, that uh, I Dare You book? Is that the one that you have? So, um, yeah, that's. I just thought I bought it because that, that book looked kind of cool. So, and I love old books anyway. Oh, I dare you is used in some classrooms. Oh, nice. Awesome. 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 So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I like old books. I like the smell of old books. I like the feel of old books. I'm an old book lover. Um, so three months ago, I bought paint for my bedroom and my bedroom is still not painted. Um, let's see. I bought this today for inspiration. This is called the point and paint. I have my doubts, but I paid $2 and 50 cents for it. Doesn't sell for much on eBay, like seven, eight bucks shipped, but it's brand new. So I'm going to try and inspire me to paint my bedroom soon. And it's a weird shaped bedroom with like the, I don't know. It's got like a lot of corners, a lot of corners in that room. So hopefully that will help me get going on that. Let's see. Cactus Joy. I love watching your haul videos. I bought some yarn after watching you. Um, had picked up some, paid about $3, a, a lot of five different lots of color. Sold four of them for 30 to 60 each. Thanks for the in, info. Gosh, I am so glad that somebody else has found yarn that's worth money. Um, it's definitely something you would walk past. Most of us. Most of us will walk past it and not look at it. So I'm glad to hear that somebody else has made a little money on some. Um, <clears throat> I paid 50 cents for this. And this is a Game Boy uh, 4 adapter so that four people can play Game Boy together, I guess. Whoa. And um, so the I paid 50 cents for this. And it goes between five and ten bucks. It's not a home run, but I didn't look this up. So um, I may just keep it in the event that I get a Game Boy, you know, or, you know, a Game Boy lot and I can throw it in with that. So that might be what I do with that. <clears throat> this, <clears throat> this may be one of the most unusual things that I bought today. However, it may not be the most unusual thing that I bought today. So I... Um, I, yeah, couldn't pass this up. Uh, they priced it at seven bucks. I paid three fifty for it. Look at that boar's head. Um, this is Procyon brandy. Well, if I put those glasses on, I can see, uh, Procyon um, brandy factory. And I learned that this is Armenian brandy that they, um, that they always theme their bottles. So this one is themed as a pig or a boar or whatever, however you want to term it, um, a hog, whatever. And, um, I could not find this one sold. There were not many sold. Um, but the ones that were sold were, there was a sword, a stag, um, just imagine clue pieces. I don't know, <laughs> pieces from the game board clue, but, um, there was a sword, a gun and a stag, I think that were among the solds, but they started at like $25 and they went up to $110 and those were actual solds. Um, I could not find this listed. I could not, um, find this sold, but. Pigs are something um, popular. People collect pigs. They like pigs. But um, I don't know. This just it spoke to me. And 
I just bought it. Um, I'm going to try and get about 30 bucks minimum ish for this, but who knows, who knows what will happen. But again, uh, 350 investment, not the weirdest thing that I bought. Uh, the thrill of thrifting is here saying very unusual. Uh, Jim Dittmeyer saying, wow, yarn, really? I walk past them all the time and go right to the cross stitch pattern. I'm going to have to research that yarn. Yeah, take a moment, especially if it's got a real unusual look for look, look to it. Um, and if you find if you find it that has the label on it, you're super duper lucky. Um, and it will be really easy to research that. But I've sold um, some yarn that I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it was well over $100 for five rolls. Really ridiculous. Let's see. Did you say? Oink, oink. Quirky Girl is here. Hello, Maybelline. Um, I was just watching a thrifting haul with Angie over at uh, Treasure Vintage, and she was talking about Quirky Girl is there. So Quirky Girl is everywhere. I'm just uh, honored to be among some of the people that she will come and visit. So uh, thank you for being here. Does it say oink? Uh, it did not say oink when it spoke to me, but maybe later. All right. So I don't know what compelled me to buy this, but I just did. Um, this is a one... Oral B um, toothbrush, and it does not have the charging stand, but somebody may want just an extra toothbrush because um, you could use th they, um, you know, they last a long time when you charge them. So you could have one on the charger and one not, whatever. Um, it, there were these um, replacement heads as well. I don't know if these are the right ones for this. I'll have to do research, but I paid two fifty for this. I'm hoping to get about two, 20, 20, 20 out of both of these. Let's see. Uh, Cactus Joy saying that bottle would be pretty with colored water. Quirky Girl says pink. I guess pink would work. Pink would work since it's a pig. Let's see. I picked this up for $1.50. Let me pull this off because that's material. Material, if you see this. Sorry, I know that's noisy. Um, so you've got your Susan G. Komen thing going on here. And your Pandora. Um, this is actually a little trinket box. Look how cute that is. And uh, you can actually hang like your bracelet from there. And I paid a dollar fifty for it, and I should be able to get about fifteen to twenty. I think I believe that's what it was when I researched it. All right, so I paid a dollar fifty for this, and I um, I hate shipping these, but they always sell and sell for good money. But I may try and part part one out once, just. You know, to see if, because this one is not a generic one. This is actually, um, and I did not, did not check the price of this. This is the Rival, um, I call it Rival Croc Grill. So this is actually labeled. Um, but I usually can get... 30 35 dollars for these um and then it had inside of it two of these and these are those drip trays for um george foreman grills uh, i usually sell these for 7.99 each there's two of them in here so that's 14 dollars right there uh, the slow the sale on these have gotten slow because the word is out so everybody buys them now but that's okay. They, they'll sell eventually. And again, these were essentially free. Um, they just happen to be stuck in with this grill. So that was nice. Let's see, I paid a dollar fifty for this. Um, Christelle Prophet, hello. I sold all my juicer parts. I learned from from you. Thank you. I'm so glad that you did. 
Um, I'm so glad that you sold all your juicer, juicer parts. That's awesome. Um, and trust me, I learned it from somebody else. I learned this parting out business from, from resellers that are no longer putting videos on the internet. I don't know if you remember them, but Gil Daddy um, was his channel name. And I don't think he's put out a video at all for about a year. And he's changed. They've changed from eBay to Amazon. Um, but I watched them when I first started and, um, and I learned a lot from them. Let's see. Let's see. Quirky girl. I told, I have a bad headache just for the halibut. Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. I won't carp on that too long. Oh, 20 twin twin. Yes, that's right. Um, so that bag of stuff I bought had, um, for a dollar fifty, had this cute salad tong set. Uh, that'll be given to somebody. Uh, these this cute set of tongs. I might keep those. But it also had this pampered chef um, garlic press in it. And this one is in really good condition. Um, what I had bought a, a month or two ago, probably a month ago, I paid thirty five cents for it, but it was beat up. So I only. I think I only sold it for like $8.99 shipped. And it does go first class because um, this is uh, cast aluminum. This one is in really good shape. I'll probably sell this one for $14.99 shipped. Um, if you do not use a garlic press, you're, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> um, but in this Pampered Chef one is pretty good. I like it. I have one myself. So there's that. And we're over halfway there, for, folks. We're two-thirds of the way there, folks. So, um, oh, I don't want to open that. I paid 50 cents for this. This is a type of uh, decorative paint transfer. So you wet this, you put it on the wall. Um, you probably use like a, a credit card kind of thing. To, you swipe your card <laughs> on this and uh, it transfers it to the wall. Um, I paid 50 cents for this. Canasta tongs. That's awesome. Oh, Linda's here. Linda with Linda with Rocky's Linda's Rocky Mountain Farm finds. I'm glad that Josh has already gone and uh, shortened that to LRMF. But these are what these look like. And there's I don't know how many of them on here. This is a representation of what they look like. They're kind of cool, actually. Um, I guess a little different than border, but uh, yeah, they're. There's the paint transfer. I don't know what these are worth. I didn't look them up. Um, for 50 cents, it's not worth my time to, to look everything up. Um, but I'm expecting to get 12 or 15 bucks for these shipped. And I, that would make me happy. Happy, happy, happy. So far, uh, Faye has added up. So far, on parts alone, you'll make a million dollars. That is awesome. Of course, after eBay fees and shipping, I'll make like, Twenty-nine thousand. <laughs> um, got some red hot chili peppers. I paid a quarter for these. I don't know if they work. I don't know if they don't work. But um, trust me, I will part them out and sell and sell just the covers if if the lights don't work. I don't care. I, that's how I roll. But um, I'll check them and see if they work. Um, at fine, ten bucks, fifteen bucks, don't care. Don't care. Okay. So, if you know me and know me very well, and some of you are getting to know me really well, um, I have a thing for these, for little little cups, little espresso cups. And I just thought these were really, really cute. There are five of them in the bag. I'm assuming there are probably six at some point. Um, and um, we like to serve um, hot tea and um, like Middle Eastern Turkish coffee. And these are perfect for that. They're a little bit too big for, for Turkish coffee, but um, I saw them when I was there last week and they were $5. And I thought that's a little too much. I'm cheap. I can't help myself. So they were half off today. So I picked them up $2 and 50 cents, but um, these make me happy. I think they do anyway. So I couldn't figure out in the store if this was a, um, like a whip, like a 
whisk kind of thing or if it was a potato masher. But after doing some research, I learned that this was, in fact, a potato masher that I paid 15 cents for and sells for about $20 new on eBay. So I'll try to get about 15 bucks for it. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy that this would sell for $20? Do you know how many potatoes I can buy for $20? For $20? Um, Chris Dale Profit says, yep, I paid $8.99 full set of Juicer. Then I parted out total $64.39. That feels so good. That feels so amazing. Um, I saw this little bundle of stuff. I paid a dollar for it. It was $1.99. And all I know is that their mixer, uh, their electric mixer beaters and whisks. Um, so I looked it up. I'm sure there was probably another one at some point because there's only three of these. But these go to a Hamilton Beach safe scrape, safe scrape um, hand mixer. And these look pretty new. I mean, they really don't look like they have much wear on them at all. Um, there are no, like, replacements listed. And I think I can probably get <coughs> uh, maybe $12.99 for a set of these. The other ones... That Maybe they go with the same mixer, maybe not. I'm thinking they don't, but I will double check and I'll figure them out. It's no big deal. Um, but this is a dollar, and I think I can probably reasonably get $45 gross on this bundle of parts. There. We are getting there. So this is a... Who pays $20 for a potato masher? That's insane. Uh, rich Irishman? I don't know. I don't know. I would think if you have to eat that many potatoes, you probably don't have money to um, to pay that for a potato masher. All right. This is a, um, it's called a Holy Bible with helps. And it's made by Nelson. And it actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, I think oh, I just threw that away. I paid 50 cents for this Bible and I looked this up. I think is this goes for 15 to 20. Um, I bought this stuff kind of with my mom in mind. So this is a prayer companion, companion prayers. Actually, oh, this might, this may be Catholic. My mom's not Catholic. Companion prayers, a guide to prayer for the companions of St. Anthony. So, um, yeah, that sounds like it is a, a Catholic guide. But that's fine, too. Um, this is such a mixed bag of stuff. And I think I paid, I paid 25 cents for this mixed bag of stuff. Um, this is called a taste of South, a uh, taste of Charleston, South Carolina restaurant recipes. There might be something here. Um, since these are it's from 2004, since there are rest restaurant recipes, there may be some money there, but probably not much. And then everyday food, eat this. Th these are nothing. These are garbage pretty much. Unless there's any kind of good thrift, any oh, store that way. You'll take it. You want the companion, Chris? The the companion prayer. Of course, I had you in mind. Okay, here's another Bible that I paid a dollar fifty for. I didn't realize that it had this damage when I picked it up. Um, but it looks like it may be a large print. Let's see. I can almost make that out. Um, oh, look. Folks have signed the inside cover. Oh, it's a dedication Bible. Dedicated back in 1990. Probably not worth much uh, as a reseller. But it'll do okay. I'll see if I can get 10 bucks out of it. Again, I don't have much in it. Gail Follett is here. Hi, Gail. Are you, uh, are you Gail in, um, might you happen to be in Colorado? 
Um, let's see. So I paid 50 cents for this. This is actually an advent wreath. Um, it looks like they burned the purple candles uh, out of this. But um, I just thought it was a pretty wreath to begin with. And um, thought maybe somebody might buy it. Or, nope, you're in North Carolina. Oh, okay. I was just checking. Um, I, I wasn't expecting a gale from North Carolina. It's just there. I, there is a gale in North Carolina. So, um, let's see. Uh, but anyway, I may end up uh, replacing the candles for this and then selling it. But again, a fifty cent investment. Uh, here is, here's yet another one of those West Bend um, cookers, and this one has the cord. It has a rack in it. it. It has the lid with the knob. The other one did not have the knob. Um, and I paid three fifty for this. This is probably this is probably about a forty to fifty dollar part out. Yeah, it could it be long tail? Sure, sure it could be long tail. But um, you know. Some of it will be long tail and some of it won't be. Another West Bend cooker in the house. West Bend cookers. Yeah. Um, okay. So I paid a dollar for this. And this is out of date ink. It's no secret that you can sell out of date ink. Just disclose that it's out of date. But I still think I can get uh, $18, $19 shipped for this for my dollar. Here comes weird thing, really super weird thing. Number two, let me take a sip of water because uh, I'm going to need it. Um, yeah, so I paid a dollar for this. And apparently it's a thing. So we probably can't see this tag, but it says perfect pets with a ZZZ at the end. Um, it's also this tag here. And it is battery powered. I don't have a D battery to test it right now. I have to buy one. But it looks like these sell for about um, 30, 32 um, new. So for my dollar investment, I'm hoping to sell this for about 20 bucks. But is this uh, not creepy. This is some creepy stuff right here. So it looks like uh, it looks like uh, so we got some representing uh, North Carolina. We got several, a lot of people from North Carolina in the room. Uh, some of them you don't realize are from North Carolina, and some that you do. But um, yeah, that's nice. I, I like the South. I, I would move to the Carolinas if. I was allowed to, but we're not allowed to. Let's see. So this was a total like whim, a total whim. Um, this is a Remington paraffin bath, like for your hands, like for your hands. No, like for your nose. No, absolutely for your hands. Uh, it does have these extra bags with it. And the instructions. I paid 35 cents for this. It is full of paraffin, but these things only sell for like 10 bucks. So um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may just keep the little plastic. I may maybe I'll try to sell them just the plastic bags. I don't know. But um, this is probably my biggest like dud that I bought. But whatever. Whatever. We're getting to the bottom here, folks. So this is a set of Sakura Glamour Girls mugs. Let me flip the back so you can see. Cute mugs. I paid two fifty for these. I thought they would be worth a little more, but it looks like they're only worth about ten bucks. And the shipping on them is gonna be crazy. So this might end up being a gift. I don't know. Yeah, you thought the Brandy Pig bottle was a whim. Actually, the Brandy Pig bottle was a little more of an intentional buy. 
because I felt like there would be a um, uh, a market for that somehow. But uh, definitely, definitely the paraffin bath was a win. Um, I bought this intending probably to give it to, I don't know, one of the daughters as a gift. It's this cute little ceramic um, bejeweled basket with this little cute snowman lid. And I paid 50 cents for this. Um, Little did I know, because the lid was taped on it, that I had these cute little salt and pepper shakers inside. And it's like some holly berry, uh, not to be confused with holly berry, because that's different. Holly berry um, candles, candle rings, looks like. And a tiny, tiny little stocking. So who knew? Who knew? Can't break anything making money. That's right. You work for a lady that had one of those cactus joys saying it made their, their hands feel really good. I know when I've ever had that done at the manicurist. Okay, I've only had it done once. Um, it, it does give your hands like, especially for older people, that feels so good. Oh, yeah. Poor little Olaf. He'd melt for you. All right. Two things left. Just, nope. Three things left. Um, I paid $2 for this guy. This is made by Caboodles. And it is your train case, your train makeup case. And, and it does fold out to be like this big. And um, looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's got your normal makeup dust inside it. But um, overall, it's pretty nice. Um, and I think I can get about 25 bucks for that one. Uh, I bought these for 50 cents. They're multi um, golf club covers. And I don't know if they're going to be worth anything or not because I, I did not find these, but I'll do some more research. But let's see if they're all here. Let's see. We got... Looks like maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. All right. I think these, I think this is it. I don't know. Can't remember. Um, it's been a long time. So it's got your three iron, four iron, your five iron, five iron, your seven iron, your nine iron, your sand wedge. And, and I paid 50 cents for these. And then um, it's got these, it's got a three iron and a four iron. And this is made by Club Glove. So I don't know if these will sell for anything. These are actually nicer. If they'll sell for anything. But, uh, you know, I thought it would be worth a shot. I, I don't know why, but I like to buy... Um, I like to buy cutting or uh, golf covers. A lot of them can sell pretty well. So if there was a fire in this house right now, God forbid, I would be in big trouble because I can't even get to the door for all the stuff that's here. Okay, so here's the last thing. No, there's two. I, I was wrong again. So wrong again. Because there is this. I paid $12.50 for this. And this is a nook. Um, a nook a color. And um, it looks like you can um, upgrade this to be like a regular tablet. 
And if I can do that, maybe I'll keep it because my husband doesn't have a tablet. Um, and I don't know. I, best case scenario, I think I can get about $30, $35 for it. That is like the top. Um, I've got the original cover. I've got the original cable. So maybe. Um, Linda's saying that the last two were probably for hybrid irons. Maybe I'll do some more research on those. But again, I paid $12.50 for this. I took a risk. I mean, I'm lucky that it works. But um, we'll see. We'll see what I do with that. Here's the last thing. The I think it was the last thing I picked up because I had carried it to this cash register. My cart was too full. And uh, let me just tell you, it's a thing. Wow, ladies, what do you think of that? It's a snow globe. With a tree on it. And from what I can gather, um, it's it's also Thomas Kincaid. It's got his little scenes on the ornaments. Um, I think I think there's pieces missing from it. Um, but the tree rotates, and I just think that takes it up a notch. Um, there was a one sold maybe for a hundred. I don't remember. I don't remember what we what we looked it up as, but oh boy, this is something in it because a, tr a snow globe wouldn't be enough. Um, a tree isn't enough. You got to put a tree on a snow globe, and it re rotate, and it's got Thomas Kincaid scenes on the ornaments. I think it's just too much. But anyway, um, I probably will end up selling this for parts because I do know some of the ornaments are missing. Um, and I don't have the power cord for it. I do have the battery box that is missing the cover. Um, I don't know if it plays music or not, Cactus Joy. But um, let me tell you, this is, this is something. It's a thing within a thing within a thing. So anyway, um, it's, it is numbered. It is Bradford Exchange. These are the reasons that I bought it. Yeah, it's it's quirky and it's unusual, um, but also the Thomas Kincaid angle, the Bradford Exchange angle, the it's numbered angle. And let's let's be real. I paid one dollar for it. So wow. Um, I don't think you can change out the snow globe. I think it is kind of all molded together, but what an interesting piece. That is quite a thing. <laughs> it's quite a thing. So anyway, um, I'll probably end up selling it for parts. And if I get 30 bucks for it, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, let's talk about it. If I have it in a year, if I've got it in a year, it might be time to get rid of it. Or gift it or something. But anyway, that's what I've got for you guys. Um, I, I don't know how much money I made here. Um, I haven't made any yet. But, um, you know, I've got a lot of stuff to list. I've got some long tail stuff. I've got some stuff I think that will sell faster. And... Um, I've got some easy ship stuff. I've got some not easy ship stuff. Um, yeah, exactly. A dollar. I'm like, um, for a dollar, I, f I feel you. I, I couldn't walk by it for a dollar. So anyway, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to part out here. I have got, um, yeah, I just got a lot going on. So I'm thinking, there's going to be some sitting in this chair and really getting some computer time to get all this stuff listed. So that's where we are. Um, yeah. $97 later. Gift it to an enemy. That is the best idea ever. Like here, friend. Um, frenemy. But anyway, that's what I've got going on. Any parting comments? Is there anything else you guys would like to talk about or say um i'm hoping to be able able to make another trip like this in the next month or so 
along with my normal, just a little thrifting here and there. Because um, I used to find that I would take bigger trips more time, like at least once a week, hit four, five, six, seven thrift stores. I'm not finding that I need to do that right now. Um, usually if I hit the four that are right here in town, um, it's enough. You know, I can, I can, uh, get enough to, to get by. Plus, you know, buying these items where there are four individual, individual pieces to list it takes me a little longer, but I'm enjoying it. And let's see, we're just over an hour. So, um, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I appreciate you being here though. Thank you so much. Um, I gotta go figure out what's for dinner and, uh, probably cook that before the hubs gets home. You might want some dinner, but, uh, again, thank you for being here. Like subscribe, comment, I uh, love hearing from you guys. Make sure that if you subscribe, you hit the bell button so that you know when I'm going live. And uh, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you guys the next time.